And we're back! Welcome to 2023! It's just like the old year, except with less eggs on our shelves and more pregnant jokers. YCS Sydney 2023 happened last weekend and Oceanic champion Dino Spasovsky made it to the top 16 once again proving why he's the best. I couldn't be there myself this weekend but the ravishing roving reporter Ruben Kruger formerly of the Face Downs was there to get an interview with the man himself. Let's check it out. All right hello everyone we are here with Dino. Uh, Dino can you tell us what you were able to achieve this weekend in Sydney? Uh, I got sacked by a food player in top 16. <laughs> so you managed to top 16 YCS Sydney? Uh, yes. Amazing and what were you playing? Uh, all the fairy cards. All right let's and, have a look. And the blue cards. Yeah. <laughs> all right let's have a look at this profile. Great, so the tear cards Two Rhino, three, 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 everyone's on all of this. Uh, if you're not on that exact ratio, you're doing something wrong. Um, yeah, don't play three Rhino. Uh, and then one Druid's Worm because this you suck. <laughs> the best Magnum Oots, the one in your opponent's graveyard. Um, then the fun cards of the deck, uh, the best cards by far of the entire band were just maxing out their Shizu cards. They did so much work. Um, it's so great when you activate Medora, discard a card, and you activate Gravekeeper's Trap from deck, and people have to read. So much reading. And then that goes to the graveyard, and you win the game. And that <laughs> happened a lot. I believe that. Um, when you're just milling everyone for everything, it happens so often. Um, so maximum fairies, uh, alongside that, obviously the orange light, uh, broken card should come back to three. Bring it back to three, yeah. Let me play my ulties. Uh, and then one diviner because Baron's a good card. Baron is a good card. Tuners are cool. I love sending fairies from deck to grave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all these things and elf is broken, yep. <laughs> um, just check it off the list. And then obviously three planet, terraforming, uh, sewer poly because nobody plays around this game one and then nobody knows how to play around in game two and three It's just the best boy breaker right now. It just beats every single day except flu and that deck doesn't exist, right? No um, Into fusion uh, the amount of times I drew this or opened this or had it as my last card in hand after baiting all of the interactions uh, Made my opponents not happy like Bowden in top 32 um, Then two talents last uh, Going second or last spell cards um, Towns was insane. Uh, don't play three uh, one time I drew into a second talents off the first talents and I'm like, oh, that was, that feels bad. I didn't obviously scream, happy. Midnight's crime Solic as the... <laughs> All right, so... One of every tier card. So walk, walk us through the decision on to play three unique trap names in the main deck. Um, when you're milling 20 cards or more than 20 cards, you hit all of these or some variation of them where Heartbeat, could add, Heartbeat will add back on your traps that you milled and Midnoise and Salak have both got insane graveyard effects uh, so does Scream and between both the spells you get access to all three traps most of the time between Kit searching one, one, one spell searching the other one and the other spell searching the third one and nobody expects Midnoise, it won me so many games where people just went battle phase with their Druids where I'm like okay, uh, attack into your one tier name, flip Midnoise I guess I'll be playing on your battle phase <laughs> And then, uh, then they try and talents me, and it's funny because it's battle phase. That <laughs> happened a lot. Um, 43 cards in the main, uh, because 40 cards is for flu players. <laughs> um, going to the extra deck, uh, fairly standard. We have Zeus with the rank 4 package. Uh, I really want to fit in Tornado Dragon, just another rank 4. Um, being on so many Ishizu cards, uh, I can do just put two players on board. Usually you actually go through both your Dweller and your Redor in those games. Um, and you don't really want to go in Bugu screen winning situations. No. And Zeus is cracked. Uh, that card put in more work than anything else in my extract probably. Um, and there's Baron. I summoned it like twice when I full comboed and didn't get interrupted. And you know, summoning Baron just wins the game on the spot. Uh, it's only Synchro. Then Lynx. We've got Osa, Dark, Sprint, and Elf. Uh, also was crazy, I took three Fenrirs and a couple of Mdoras and Keldos. Uh, that card is so much fun to play with. Especially I love love your Earth attributes. Yeah. Uh, oh, I also took an Ippera from a Sprite player and just drew an extra card. That was cool. <laughs> we like drawing cards. Oh, awesome. Um, Dark, obviously, the best. You go into Osa, take something, use a different card, use the Osa to make it Dark, and then you just start playing through all of the Graveyard Shufflers. It's so insane. And then the fusions of the deck, just can't be tear without fusions, just the standard 
uh, Garura, Dragostopelia, one Kit, Mud Dragon, one Rukalos, one Kaleido Hot that almost lost, um, that my opponent tacked this away and then didn't give it back to me. And then against Bowden in top 32, when I was shuffling out my deck after I won game one without it, it was like, wait, I only have 14 cards. Um, judge, and turns out that's just a, oh, you got your card back, play on, extra doesn't matter. So. So good. <laughs> No Judge FTKs here. Uh, I did Judge FTK someone, that felt... <laughs> it, it felt bad, but like, it was a losing game state. Uh, exchange of the Spirit, uh, mandatory effect. Um, he um. shuffled his hand. <laughs> <laughs> that, that does win you the game. Uh, then the side deck, uh, two Ash, because Flu is a deck and Branded Bestial is a deck, but I didn't play any Branded Bestial, and against Flu, it didn't matter, you just drew better. Um, the rest of the Bestials, just for when you're going first, or sometimes in game three, you keep them. You put them in instead of the extra trap lineup. Just more stuff for tear. Um, twins, Duster, back row and flu. Dark Holes, flu. Uh, also pretty good against the one hero play I played against. Um, <laughs> that deck loses to one of these. Uh, three Imperm, good card. And then Scatter Shot. I, I love Volcanics. One time. Um, it just got milled randomly off a of hardness during my opponent's turn. I'm like, okay, <laughs> unlucky, 500. Amazing. And so what was your overall record at the end of day two? So at the end of day two, it was losing top 16. So I was, uh, I ended up having what, nine wins and three losses. So end of Swiss, I was X2, I was 25th place. Uh, end of day one, I was X1. Uh, I played four Sprite, one Hero, five Tear, and one Flu. And that was the first Flu in top 16 that took yeah, you out? Just the only Flu. That Flu went on to get second place and lose to Jesse Cotton in the final, so... Well, amazing. Um, any changes you would make going forward? Um, take Skyshot out of the side deck. <laughs> yeah. Change time rolls. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. No, I really like the deck. Uh, it's a lot of fun just saying, I want to mill cards. And then your opponent's saying, are you sure? I'm like, yes, I'm sure. <laughs> Amazing. Well, congratulations, Dino, on an amazing run. Uh, OC champion to top 16 YCS Sydney. Uh, thank you to everyone for watching. And uh, be sure to keep an eye out for more success uh, from the New Zealand players. 